Hello, everybody. Hi. We are, we are in a whole new, new area here. We're on Zoom. <laughs> and I'm making noises already. But uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, welcome back to the Soda Pop podcast. This is our first episode of season three. How crazy is that, guys? So crazy. Season Doesn't three. even feel like it. <laughs> and this is this is y'all's second season, and my third season and for me days are kind of starting to run together with episodes we have so many great ones um but yeah so today we're just gonna kind of have our little welcome back episode nothing too uh nothing too crazy but uh yeah so first of all for those of you who are new i'm mark i am one of the first original cast members of Soda Pop. <laughs> um, yeah, and I've got Selena and Tyler with me. If you guys want to introduce yourselves. You first, Tyler. <laughs> oh, sorry, my bad. Hi, guys. I'm Tyler. Uh, like Mark said, this is uh, me and Selena's second season, but his third season. So we joined in the last season. And yeah, we've been having a blast so far. And everything is going awesome. Oh yeah. Hey everyone, it's Selena. Um, I'm on my last semester, so this will be my last season with you guys. Um, and since we are actually quarantining in different rooms, I'm gonna go ahead and take my mask off. But check out our cool mask and our cool new shirts. School of the arts. So School of the arts. Just wanted to flex that and roar lions. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and take it off. Yeah. <laughs> We like to twin sometimes, so. Yeah. <laughs> Just thought we'd show you our cool new masks and our shirts. But. <laughs> I was about to say, am I going to be the only one not wearing a mask right now? Don't leave me hanging, guys. <laughs> but for understanding but, sakes, we, we had to take them off. <laughs> <laughs> but um, so, guys, quarantine for like three months. We haven't been together or seeing each other since March. That's crazy. How's how have y'all been doing? Man. Um, uh, <laughs> sorry, my bad. You go see me. No, I'm bad. not talking. <laughs> I'm so sorry, my bad. <laughs> go ahead. Okay. So yeah, I mean I mean I think everybody, you know, has a sort of collective feel about quarantine and isolation, you know, not being able to go places and just being kind of restricted. But, you know, honestly, for me, it's been kind of, it's been depressing, but it's also been reflect, ref, what's the word I'm looking for? It's been a reflect, a period of reflection for me because I've been able to think a lot uh, and I've been able to relax a lot. So for me, it's been kind of like, you know, half and half it's 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 been it's been quite the journey and i think everybody can agree with me when i say that um i definitely agree with that um usually i would like to consider myself like extrovert 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 like i like being around people all the time i uh i used to tell my friends like if i could have a sleepover every night with different people and meet new people i would do it but this quarantine has kind of made me realize how much I like being alone. I handled it way better than I thought I would. Um, and honestly, like, I think I'm more of an introverted extrovert now because being back around people, like, I love it still. But at the same time, I'm like, can I go home yet? <laughs> Which is so weird because I've been quarantined for, like, seven months. And so you think I'd want to, like, be around people again. But... I think it made me like grow to love being alone. Hmm. Yeah. So Selena, can I ask you a question? Oh, sorry, my bad, Mark. My bad. No, you're good. Go ahead. I just because I think that's really interesting. So, would you say that since you have been in quarantine, it kind of brought it out, or would you say that it kind of created it? The sense of being an introvert. Um. I guess I always had my moments where I was like, I need to be alone, but like they were very, they were like so far and few in between that like, honestly, like I used to be around, like I didn't even like going home 
because I wanted to be around people all the time. So I'd spend the night at friends' houses. Like when I said I would do a sleepover every night, I wasn't kidding. So, I mean, I would say that it definitely like was a little of both of like bringing it out more, but also like just a whole different discovery of like isolation and realizing like, hey, I can actually be pretty productive on my own and I like my own company sometimes. I feel that, honestly. Um, it's correct. I learned that kind of as well. I mean, I don't view myself as a super extroverted person. I've always thought I've been a little bit of on the introvert side. But I realized how much I like hanging around my friends and everything and talking to people and all that. And I, even though I was I was still working in the summer, and I, you know, I, I still got to travel a little bit with work, it, it wasn't the same because you can't do as much out in public as as you used to be able to right now. And I never realized how much I actually enjoy doing that because always before, you know, this whole pandemic started, I'd always find myself like, hey, I want to go, but I, I really don't want to be in the spotlight. But then I realized how much I do talk and kind of end up being in the spotlight. It's crazy to say, considering we do this every week, so. <laughs> <laughs> but it's been crazy. It's definitely been a big change, and uh, we're just kind of ready for everything to kind of get better as soon as it can. That way I can go back to not being awkward all the time around people. <laughs> yeah, I definitely agree, too. Um, now, Mark, I know you said, like, you've been working and stuff. And so, like, let's do, like, a mental health check. Like, what, what, how has everybody's summer been going? Like, what, have you had any plans or, like, uh, have you been relaxing? Like, what's been going on with you guys? I can start. <laughs> yeah. And so, uh, my summer was very busy. Uh, I didn't have very much breaks, but that was on purpose. So, I worked all summer, mostly in Ohio, uh, with intentions on staying away from home as much as possible. A, to because more money, but also B, because you know I wanted to be able to support myself and not have to rely on going home all the time. You know, just kind of. Stuff that I've been trying to do anyway, but the, the whole pandemic thing helped. Plus, I figured everybody else staying at home all the time, I don't know if I needed to handle that much every day. <laughs> yeah. So I tried to limit my minimal hometown visits. Because that's actually crazy yeah. to me, because mine was like kind of the opposite. <laughs> like, okay, so I have my own apartment here in Florence, and I very well could have stayed in Florence and done the quarantine here, but I was like, as soon as spring break hit, that's kind of when quarantine also hit. So I went home for spring break and I didn't come back. Like I literally, I think I came back to Florence once to grab some things. And then for the entire seven months, I stayed home with my mom mm -hmm. and um, drive each other crazy, but it's okay. I love her. Uh, <laughs> But um, yeah, we were originally, so for, I turned 21 over quarantine. So my birthday was in May and I was originally supposed to go to Vegas. That didn't happen, obviously. Um, then after that, we were supposed to go to Mexico for the summer just for at least a little bit. And then that didn't happen, obviously. And then finally, like towards the end of the summer, my mom was just like, we haven't traveled at all. Like, I feel like we haven't done anything. I'm like, yeah, because there's a global pandemic. We can't go outside. And she was like, yeah, but we can still, like, self-isolate and stuff and travel. And we just, I mean, flights were really expensive because of the whole thing. And so we decided to go to Gulf Shores, like, the week before school started. And that's what I did. Um, and that was fun. But, like... The beaches were really crowded, so we try to like stay away from everybody, but it was still 
really crowded, considering. Anyways, so I don't know about you guys' plans, but mine, mine got messed up. <laughs> Yeah, I was also going to go to the beach for, for spring break, and obviously that, that didn't end up happening. So um, I didn't get to make it up, though. But um, it would have been nice. But also at the same time, I'd rather be healthy than be sunburned. Yeah. I also forgot uh, the spring break. Like, I had to cancel. I had a flight to Florida that I was going to go see a friend. I had to cancel the flight that spring break, too. So I was just like... <laughs> but yeah and I feel that I mean I I still went home a couple times during the summer I love seeing my family I just think that they wouldn't be able to handle me for that long and I wouldn't be able to handle them for that long just mutual family stuff you know normal oh I get it <laughs> yeah like me and my brother we've gotten in a couple fist fights a couple times just normal stuff like not, well, maybe like, I, maybe I don't get it. <laughs> not like mauling, but like normal, like hey, shut up. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, what's up? <laughs> Keep what asking the remote. Oh. Like the tap, the little tap, tap. <laughs> <laughs> not like mauling each other, knocking each other out, but like, hey, hey, brother. <laughs> that's my. That's how I punch. Obviously, yeah. I'm a. I'm an arts major, clearly. <laughs> no, that's a nice right hook. That's a right hook. That'll drop him right there. Uh, yeah. I mean, I will say after that, you know, coming back here was, was pretty pretty cool and everything. Uh, I had to do move-ins for, for residents working for HRL. So that was something. I was in the sun for seven days. I got a little sunburned. I'm peeling right now. I don't know if you can see it, but. I'm peeling oh, too. There's my, you there's my tan line on the camera if you're watching. Yeah. That's for <laughs> seven days. Oh my goodness. That's from movies too. Moving carts and stuff. The bruise. Yeah, a little bruise on the bicep there. What about you, Tyler? Oh man. Uh it's kind of been like a mix between both. Like I've been so I stayed here for the summer and for the quarantine before then. So I uh I go to work I work at McDonald's so it was interesting to see like it was like the evolution was happening right before my eyes you know like because at first it was like oh guys we have to stay home now school's canceled so you can't really go out anywhere but I still had to work mm -hmm. and then the initial run happened where everybody was buying the toilet paper and going into panic and then it was like okay this is a serious thing that I need to take really seriously. Uh, then we implemented the gloves, the mandatory gloves, I mean, masks and the gloves. And, um, you know, being at a place like that um, and having to be there, being a, a what do they, uh, what, what was it called? Like you're a... Essential? Yeah, essential worker. Yeah, sorry. It escaped me at the moment. But yeah, like being an essential worker, you kind of like see the evolution of like the world ending, mm -hmm. but not really ending before your eyes and you know people like change and they you just kind of see people's true colors as well but like you know uh i had plans too like i wanted to go to the beach with my family but of course i was uh that was canceled as well but a lot of people that i knew like people that i work with and people that i know here like uh they they went to the beach and stuff and they seemed like they had a lot of fun so i mean you know it's like to each his own mm -hmm. yeah but like i was saying like before it, it kind of uh goes to show like the whole depressing part but also kind of like a reflection part i think it's really important to have that balance you know because you know it, this type of thing can really change a person like if you're like an extroverted person and you have to stay home all the time and you can't go anywhere then you probably maybe would go insane um, but like you said, Selena, like I'm, I'm kind of always, and Mark, you said this too, like, I've always been like an an introvert. So it wasn't like a huge, uh, wasn't a huge change for me, but you know, I okay. do, want, sorry, go ahead. My bad. No, 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 you're, you're good. I was just going to say that, um, I do like how it, it's, it's kind of like an equalizer cause it kind of puts everybody on the same, uh, playing field you know like we're all in this together 
even though we're separated, you know, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. That's all I was going to say. Um, the whole, okay. You know how you said like an extrovert, extroverted person would go crazy. Okay. I will admit when this first, okay. Huh. When this first happened, I like definitely had multiple breakdowns, like crying, like before the semester ended. So the transition to online classes when we first went into this pandemic was like, Teachers were giving us a lot of busy work. They were like, I think overcompensating for the fact that school had closed. So they were just like, all of them were like, here's 12 assignments, happy end of the semester, and don't forget all your finals. And it was aggressive like that. It was aggressive, okay? And so I'm over here, I'm like, I'm not with anyone. I'm going crazy. I moved back in with my mom. I'm, uh, I'm tired. I, I was getting fed well because I did move back in with my mom. So I was getting fed very well, uh, which <laughs> anyways, but yeah, no, like there would be points where like, I just like felt like giving up for real. Like I was like, I'm just going to drop out of school. And like, I mean, we had a couple weeks left. We didn't even have that long left. And I was just like, I don't know if it was a senioritis. I don't know if it was the pandemic. I don't know what it was, but I just know that, I had really, really missed everyone, and I was super, super sad and super lonely. And then after I got through that little, like, crying every couple hours, <laughs> after I got over that, I was like, I kind of like this. I just don't adjust well to change, I think. I'm a very over-emotional person. <laughs> I mean, that was a pretty fast change, too. Like, for example, so just so we, I can put in the picture how fast this happened. I told Monica, she's our, she's our boss, that I was gonna be a couple hours late one day because I was taking a little bit of personal time to um, go get a tattoo to fix my weird feelings at the time about being stressed out. So I was de-stressing and I went with our coworker Kayla and we, we were there, we were at the tattoo shop. This was on Friday the 13th, March 13th. Uh, so we were there, we were at the tattoo shop, $20 tattoos. I was getting this little match on my wrist here. And um, all of a sudden, I think I'm gonna be a couple hours late. Then Monica texts me and she's like, yeah, just don't worry about coming in, we're closing. And then uh, my email starts blowing up about teachers closed, not being in class. And then uh, the world was over. <laughs> yeah, something similar. Okay, so I was actually going to extend my time at UNA. I was going to add one more semester and add a Spanish minor so that I could go abroad. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I like to travel. Anyways, um, I go to the office and I remember emailing the uh, coordinator for that. And I was like, hey, do you know how, like, can you send me the link so that I can sign up? And I remember reading her email and, or, it was like a phone call that she ended up calling me and she was like, Hey, I'm really sorry, but we're really taking this COVID-19 situation very seriously right now. So we don't think abroad travel will be occurring in the foreseeable future. Um, and originally it was just like for this semester, we all thought it was gonna be open for next semester. Well, she was like, I can't really give you the sign up information because everything's closing. I remember thinking, what the heck is COVID-19? It was like when it just became a thing and I knew it as Corona, but I didn't know it as COVID-19. So when she had said that, I was just like, what is it? That's how fast it happened. Like she said, we're taking this seriously. And then all, everything was closed like the next day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And like, that's when everything started, um, started changing quite a bit. So I mean, Selena, if you want to start with the, like this whole new normal type of situation that we've got going on through here. Oh yeah, so obviously our, our new normal is, you know, social distancing, staying six feet, uh, wearing a mask. Uh, there's now a mandate in Alabama that we are required to wear masks in public places. Um, we, okay, so there's a difference with jobs. So you have like essential workers, but then you have people who are working from home and then you have people who completely lost work and like 
I, I just want to know how it's kind of like affected you guys like as students um because as we know the virtual classes is a thing but how do you feel about the rest tyler if you want to answer first you can go ahead oh um yeah you know <laughs> like you guys said it was such a it, it's such a jarring and huge change at this point i feel like like I said, it kind of equalizes everything because it is like the new normal. I don't know if we're ever going to go back to the old normal. Um, but like this is like, you know, I feel like it's such a, it's, it's a weird thing. I have like mixed feelings about it, but my overall majority feeling is that I'm glad because we're at least trying we haven't fallen completely as a civilization and like as a society we're just trying our best you know we're trying to get back to that old which i don't think we'll ever do but it's 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 a weird thing man and i honestly i don't even know how to feel about it to be honest i'm kind of scared to be honest but it was just one day at a time just one day at a time i think yeah i like i i I've said this before. I don't know where I said it either. My schedules clash together too much. But um, I uh, I've said this before. But like, it's just kind of weird to me. I don't. I'm the kind of person who doesn't like not necessarily knowing. Not necessarily, not necessarily like knowing the entire future, but like kind of having an idea of what's going to go on. Like, I don't have to know a certain time or anything, but, like, I want to know if something's going to happen. And right now, it's to the point, you know, you don't know, we don't know what's going to happen. We don't know how long this is going to last. We don't know how bad it can possibly get. We just, you know, there's not really a, we know this, it's a, we, we think this is how it's going to go. This is what we can do to make it go this way. But we don't know. And I don't, I don't necessarily like that very much. Um, I like being able to see kind of a goal line so I can kind of gear myself and do what I need to do to get to that goal line in the way that it needs to be done to get it done. But I can't do that to the point that I, that I like being able to do it. So I just have to, uh, Sorry, this thing popped up on Zoom about 40 minutes at the time I don't think, but um, I like being able to go into something knowing how I'm going to end and how it's going to affect me. And it's just been weird not being able to know that. And uh, it's been an adjustment, especially with wearing masks. That's uh, something that that's completely new. I, I don't I don't wear masks very often, in, you know, outside of a pandemic. <laughs> I don't have. I don't have super bad allergies when I mow grass or anything. So I, I, we're know, not doctors. <laughs> I've never really had to wear a mask all the time. And so it's been weird, um, especially since, you know, it's just now starting to be mandated, you know, right before we came to school. So even, you know, I was used to wearing, you know, masks in stores and everything, but not, you know, everywhere to go, not outside. So it's been, it's been a little crazy, but it's been, uh, I think I'm adjusting well. Social distancing is is not as it's not as easy as as a lot of people think it is. I mean, you, you, of course you're gonna want to go and hang out with everybody and all that. It's just I feel like it's just something that needs to be done, and it may take you know a minute for you to actually force yourself to do it. But like it's something you gotta do. It's just you gotta adjust to it, and I think that it. It's working well for me so far. I haven't had a breakdown about it yet, so <laughs> luckily it's going well. But um, another thing that's kind of changed is the way that we're we're doing classes. And I I know I don't I know not all classes are starting to do this, but like a lot of my classes have started doing these hybrid classes, um, like where they kind of we meet on two days of the week, so we split half the class that meet in person on one day. And the other class, the other half meets in person on the second day, just to kind yeah. of normalize people and and uh, increase social distancing, make it even more possible. So, like, how, what, how do you feel about that? Like, what do you guys think about that? 
So um, I have one class that's doing that. We still have to attend like all the Zoom meetings. Um, personally, I prefer if you're requiring us to be on Zoom to allow us to watch a recording afterwards and not really request that we participate in the Zoom meeting if you're, you know, because they're going to be up teaching other students and they want our class participation if we're online. And I don't want my grade to be affected because I can't either attend or because I mean, honestly, if I'm doing online classes, I'll do them on my time and I'll work more. Or I'll take another shift at my job or, you know, I don't know. I just feel like it should be allowed to be on my time. And I have some teachers who are like, we're still going to count for participation, if, even if you're online. And I was like, mm, okay, <laughs> as long as I get the material, but okay. Anyways, uh, but I mean, most of my classes are like giving us the option if we want to do online or if we want to do in person. And I'm choosing online which asked me this before the pandemic, I would have been like, I hate online classes. But honestly, I just don't want to get COVID. <laughs> what about you, Tyler? Dude, honestly, I'm really enjoying this. I, Selena, I agree with you on a lot of the points you made. I think like before uh, the classes started, I would have been like, yeah, like forget online. I hated it. But uh, the way my classes are set up is exactly like that, um, but we really have the option to do, you can kind of come in if you want, because they're not really making attendance 100% like it was. It's like, if you come in, it would do you better as a student, because you'd be able to ask questions, and maybe someone else could ask a question that you didn't think about, and, you know, the teacher can reinforce certain things that you don't understand, so it's, it's like that kind of thing. Um, but you have the option to come in if you don't want to. So like, if you don't, even if like, even if you're just like, you need to like do something else. Like if you have another job or something, you, you can go in and do that instead of, you know, risking getting something as dangerous as this. Um, but yeah, dude, like I, I love it. I, I love this so far. I mean, we're still in the first week, but well, we're ending the first week, but I'm, it's, it's totally awesome because I really like options like I'm very indecisive and I agree with you Mark that like not knowing exactly how you're going to end up is like it's it's weird and like the social distancing thing like to add on to what we were saying before like the fact that we have to wear masks to class and like we're all spaced out now like when like when I came in today I wanted to like hug everybody because I haven't seen you guys in so long but like I can't and it's weird and it's like yeah it's 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 so much um but to answer the question yes uh i am very much enjoying this hybrid option i think it allows for less pressure also to so that we can work on our own time and also have time to do other things that we might need to do and i think this might be a good option for everybody you know like that has this type of uh uh, schedule because you know some some universities I believe they switch completely to online but I think this is a good a good way to go about handling this I think you and they did a really good job in handling this yeah and I would take go off what you said I, so far it's been it's been good, you know uh, luckily my classes I I can't do online I I have to I'm a hands on person I have to be in person and I can't just like, read something and fully understand it, especially if it's in a class that I don't already So like I like being able to hear the teacher explain it and everything. And most of my teachers only I did if they did use them they stopped it. You know, so that kind of it kinda of hurt me a little bit in a way. You know, I feel like if I kept whole semester like that makes you be able to read have a but so far this year, I think it's been good, especially with being hybrid. Because not everything is online, to where you can still have, you can go on a day and get the extra instruction from the professor, and then be able to practice that on the other day online when you have to. 
so I so far it's been so good. And I think it is a good a good option for for most students. And you know, it wasn't you know the university as a whole offered it to where you don't have to uh, you know you didn't even have to come back this semester if you if you didn't want to. You can do everything online. So it was what it was all personal preference and everything. And I think that that it's been a good idea. Um, and I know we have a lot of special circumstances when it comes to academics and everything that, that have gone into effect because of this whole situation. So I, I think that so far everything's been going well um, and hopefully it stays that way and, you know, could even improve once we learn uh, what works and what doesn't work. But uh, we are running out of time. So just to speed things up a little bit, um, there's been a lot of negative, obviously, this year with uh, COVID-19 or the coronavirus or Miss Rona, whatever you call it. It has 50,000 different names because it's, it's been the talk since spring, since spring. So um, you guys think there's some positive things that have come out of, uh, out of this year so far. I mean, we've only got what, like very, not even half a year left. So what, what's, what's been good so far? You can go first, Selena. Um, I think the best thing that I have learned this year, um, obviously other than like life lessons and stuff, but I got to drive a jet ski. I got Ooh. to crash a jet ski, <laughs> oh. but I got to drive a jet ski. Uh, I did. We, we can't. We, it's it's got to be on the DL, even though I'm putting it online and on this podcast. But I did crash it into a boat. But we have to keep that a secret because I didn't tell the owners. <laughs> Dang. Oh, dude. I hope you're not it was, it was. I was trying to park the jet ski and it's like around the boat. So anyways, it was their boat and their jet ski. So. Wow. <laughs> your secret oh, is safe with us and the entire internet. <laughs> Thank you. They appreciate it. Hopefully they don't see this one. <laughs> <laughs> they will see this one. <laughs> oh man! Not you, Tyler. Oh man, I'm sorry. Um, <clears throat> guys, I have been like, um, I learned something about myself that I didn't know. Uh, just to make it quick, like, basically, I've never like really. I've only binged watched like maybe one or two shows in my entire life. But over the summer, <laughs> dude, I have been living. I've been living like a bachelor's dream. Like, of course I still went to work and stuff, but I play video games. <laughs> I, I watch TV. I listen to so much music. I've been like consumed with the internet for like the whole summer. The whole summer I became one with the internet and I, <laughs> I have learned so much and I have not learned so much, but um, yeah, like I just did a whole bunch of, uh, degenerate activity as well so just take that as you will it's been amazing i loved it and i'd do it again in a heartbeat <laughs> yeah so uh i mean me personally i i tried to have as much fun as i could but i also had to work as long as i could but once i actually got back to school i had to come back a little bit earlier than most people to help with uh some training stuff that i had to do and also i had to help move everybody in so Obviously, I had to be here before them. But once I did get back here, I had some. Uh, I did do some fun. Uh, me and a couple, couple of close friends went up to Tennessee um, last week on Sunday. What part? We went to Lawrenceburg. We went to. Went uh, we went to go tubing, like float tubing, not not boat tubing. But we went tubing down the down a creek at uh, David Crockett. It was it was pretty fun. Uh, I've never been just. I've never too been tubing that type of tubing. I've never just floated. Uh, I've always been on a boat. So it was just kind of nice to go instead of being super fast and jumping super high and falling into the lake. It was pretty, it was just nice to just be able to chill on the end of and float down the, float down the creek for a little bit. So that was nice. And then on that same day, I, I got initiated into uh, Alpha Tau Omega fraternity. So that was Ooh. fun too. So that was a long Congrats. that was a long day, but it was a fun day. So, uh, 
since then, I haven't been able to rest very much, though. But it's coming. This weekend is going to be great. I'm going to sleep so much. <laughs> but um, let's just go through uh, real quick and just – somebody got an email. <laughs> Sorry, I think it was me. <laughs> was it me? But uh, let's just real quick go through and say what we're, what we're ready for to happen through the rest of, uh, through the rest of 2020. And, um, and then we'll, we'll, we'll end it there. Selena, go first. (laughs) I'm ready for new year. (laughs) (laughs) No, um, I'm ready to graduate. Woo. Go graduate. You graduate in December, don't you? I sure do. It's coming up, coming up soon. Like really soon. Oh man. Wish me luck. God bless you. <laughs> um well I think that one thing yeah, I mean, yeah, honestly, the new year, but one thing that I'm looking forward to is I'm looking forward to the way things are gonna be because I know I keep saying this, but like I don't think that we're really gonna go back to what we were before and that like we're living history right now like this part of history like 2020 as a year is gonna is gonna be in like textbooks like school textbooks and stuff Mm -hmm. so (laughs) i mean there's obviously other stuff going on you know besides corona or covid but um yeah dude like i'm I'm interested to see like the next the next six months uh how society's gonna be how social media is gonna be what new innovations are gonna come just how people are going to be in the next six months. That's really interesting to me, honestly. Mm-hmm. And um, to, to play off of that, I'm also kind of, I'm looking forward to being able to learn through this and figure out how as a society we can adapt to situations like this because this has not happened in our lifetime before. So this is something that's, that's, that's brand new to, to most of us right now, which is crazy. So I'm looking forward to learning through that and finding, you know, ways that we can adapt as a society as a whole if a situation like this does come up again. Because the way I see it, I don't know if, you know, I don't know if there's a way, I don't know if we can eradicate this. So, you know what I mean? We have to learn to adapt, whether it be with a vaccination, like the flu shot, like we get kind of like that, or whether, you know, what steps we take to, to help with the with COVID. So I mean I'm looking forward to that and I'm also looking forward to having a pretty good school year. Uh I I missed school a lot, which is weird to say because you know as high schoolers we're always man I hate school. <laughs> but then when you when you grow up you get to college, you're like, man, I miss school. <laughs> but um, I guess I'll miss it when I leave. <laughs> I will say um, I'm finally getting, you know, I'm taking my major classes now. I'm a junior, so I'm in all my major classes now. I spend all my time in a recording studio pretty much. So I'm looking forward to having a lot of fun with that. And so other than that, I really, really want to welcome you guys back. Uh, I miss Maybe, you. Maybe 2020 we'll have our collaborative project. Oh, question Ooh. mark. Oh, we'll see. <laughs> Tyler. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, welcome back, you guys. Um, this is the first time we've all been in the office together since we've been back, even though we're in different offices in the office. <laughs> it's been it's been great, and I think this was a great first episode. It is a little bit longer than uh, than some of ours are, but. I do think it's it, it's pretty good that we talked about a lot of the stuff we did. And for all you listeners, whether you're returning or whether you're new, thank you for listening to our podcast. It means a lot to us. Um, follow us on social media. We have Twitter. We have Facebook. We have Instagram. All that stuff is great. Um, if you have any questions or you have suggestions on what you want us to cover in our podcast, Email us at arts at una.edu, and uh, we all have access to that now, so you might get a response from me, you might get a response from Selena, from Tyler, so email us, let us know, and uh, yeah, 
Thank you guys for listening. We're going to have a great third season. So stay tuned. Bye. Bye Bye-bye. Have a beautiful time. And we'll see you guys next week. Hey, guys. Make sure to check out all of our social medias. Feel free to send us your feedback at arts at una.edu or through the DMs of any of our social media. We hope you enjoyed this episode, and we'll see you in the future. This podcast has been brought to you by UNA School of the Arts. Executive producer is Mark Gallegos, co-produced by Selena Fugate and Tyler Hankins. Special thanks to Dr. Terrence Brown and the entire SOTA staff.